All right, we can go ahead with questions. Yeah, Patty, just overall, what did you think about the response to last night? You talked about it uh, sort of being anxious to see how they mm -hmm. bounce back. I know that the overall picture still has a way to go, but. Yeah, um, proud. They were fighting. Um, when things maybe aren't clicking on all cylinders, it can get really frustrating. And you can see a little bit of that, but today I felt a little more poise, a little more focus, um, fighting with two strikes. They did a good job of that. That pitching staff, you can look at their numbers. It doesn't matter. Um, they were really keeping us off balance, and we felt that. Um, so today I thought our plans were better. Just thought, we talked about just throwing punches, us really fighting, and uh, so I felt much better today. Patty, what did you see from, from Kelly going Thursday and then today? Just what did you see from her and how important was it for her to maybe find a rhythm there? Yeah, I'm really proud of her because um, there were times I don't know that she was feeling her best. And then, you know, elite athletes just let that go. They don't let it be an excuse. And she stayed in the game. She kept getting after it and getting after it. Um, I'm really proud of that. I think that's a big accomplishment for Kelly. And the team stepped up for that. They, they knew about it, heard about it later in the game, and they responded immediately. Patty, you had a number of times where you had runners on base, even when you didn't score. They did a better job of moving the lineup along today, didn't they? We're getting on, but we left 11 runners on base, and that's just too much for this team. But we're getting on base, so we can be encouraged by that. And uh, we're going to fix that. I'm, I'm certain of that. You keep, you know, and, and I love the way you do lineups. Like I said, you're the best in the country. You know, we well, always have great you, lineups. James. You always have, you always have <laughs> great players, too. But you keep moving people around. Are you still trying to find something, or is it more analytics than those things? Um, I think you're going to, you're starting to see a little bit more consistency, but it has a lot to do with analytics, matchups, or maybe what somebody's doing over the weekend and putting them in a place that might feel a little more comfortable for them. And um, I think Brito's a great example yeah. that um, she found her groove there and right where she was right in the right space, right in the right place today. Alyssa, kind of walk us through your bats. What was kind of going through your head in those situations with runners on? I think today I really wanted to make adjustments as far as taking away the off speed. Um, I knew that was something that they were consistently going to um, against me. So um, honestly, just digging in and finding an elevated pitch was what I was wanting and just hitting it hard, not trying to press or do too much and just let it come as it is. How did you balance that? We talked about it yesterday you weren't here, but mm -hmm. wanting to have a fight, have a response, and simultaneously not pressing to still let the game kind of come to you. Yeah. I think we just needed to kind of have a reminder of who we were. Um, honestly, like, a loss is a loss, but I think the good part is is um, we needed to stay composed and understand what the purpose is, whether your why is for Jesus or it's for each other, for your family. But I think, like, these moments when we have hiccups are good moments when I feel like the Lord is like kind of grounding us in those moments and just allowing us to see the bigger picture and that's that it's just a game and then we can come together and have, have more freedom in that. Um, so I think that was honestly the shift. There was no outcome change because if we pressed on outcomes then we would honestly never get what we truly want. Um, so they're never satisfying. But I think the team did a really good job of just being who we were and getting back to that space because we kind of lost ourselves for a little bit there, but had to get grounded again. Riley, you've been around here for a while. You've seen so many great lineups that Patty talked about, leaving 11 on. What do you think is going on with the lineup, and where do you think you guys are at at this point in the season offensively? I think we're climbing each game. Um, offensively, I think we just got to take baby steps, don't look forward look right now and I felt today I felt um, we were fighting each pitch we didn't really uh, back down and throw the towel in so you saw a lot of battles going on you saw a lot of energy being fed through the dugout so I honestly think we're just taking one step at a time we don't have time to look forward or past right now so listen, how comfortable do you feel like batting in that seven hole as you did today I'm just happy to be in the lineup I don't really <laughs> care where that is, I don't think those things matter because I think our lineup and our team and this offense is strong wherever you are, whoever's in the game. 
Um, so I don't really look where I am in the lineup. I'm just ready to go in and compete each at bat. And I think that's what is so good about our team. If we continue to go in that direction, no matter who's in that lineup. Alyssa, any sort of message either post Friday night or before this one from the seniors or anything like that? You know, I just think we kind of came to a conclusion of like really stepping in and saying, who are, who do we want to be this year? Um, and I think that doesn't need to be a pressure or anything like that because we've been in these situations before. Um, but again, just the comment on knowing who we were, um, knowing each other. And I think fighting for the person right next to you is important. Like Boone was saying, be in it every single pitch, um, celebrate the little things and just come together as one. Um, I think that's going to keep us grounded. And that was just kind of the message. And I think like the overall mentality was moving into today is how are we going to fight back together in this? I mean, there's a lot of parody in softball, it seems like, just winning the series. How big was that today, considering <laughs> everything, every day, everybody's in a fight. It's big. Look at the conference and see what's going on around, not just our conference, but around the country. And that's, that's all. It's tremendous to see, is that there are big upsets going on. To beat us is a headline, but to beat now Tennessee is a headline. Florida, it's a headline. I mean, there's headlines all over the place. Georgia, some of these top teams are getting beat because you just can't, it's just very difficult to live on top of that mountain for so long. Um, it's just, your body gets tired, your mind gets tired. Um, there's a lot of things that can break down on you. So it's a grind and that's what you try to get out of your team is just fight, fight, fight through it and then try to, get them rest and recovery, because it is three days of, I mean, that game yesterday felt like it took 10 hours. It just took, the games just are, we're on our feet. Maybe we're not running constantly, but we're standing on our feet a lot. So um, you just gotta fight, gotta fight. It, it is what it is, but there's parity everywhere, and that's really exciting for our sport. Patty, what's stood out to you about Kenzie's uh, approach at the plate since she's come back? I mean, Standard yeah. to 10 today and focused, focused. Um, sometimes when you are out and you are just really kind of crushed that you're not in helping your team, when you get the opportunity to come back, all you want to do is make it right. And, make, and so you get a different perspective when you're sitting out for two or three weeks. And kudos to Riley Ludlum, who's been absolutely outstanding. And uh, it's allowed Hanson to come back at the right time, not too quick. And today she had a little something in her knee, and, or maybe it was last night. It was uncomfortable there for a second, and I just wanted to get her off her feet. She needs that. Um, catchers do a lot of work back there. So to tag team those guys were great, and I think Hanson's just so happy to be back with her team and contributing. Take time, two more. Riley, what does it mean to you to have that type of recognition from the, the fans in Oklahoma today? Um, I think it's pretty awesome. Mainly though, today I was so focused on being um, like so all in with my team that I always get lost in that stuff. So I try to um, get the audience out to realize like having this atmosphere is amazing. And it reminds me of Texas sometimes when we went and played there. So being able to just be so focused on my team while having everyone yelling Boone, it's some, sometimes I think they say boo. I don't know if they, <laughs> they are saying my last name, but um, yeah, I think it's just pretty cool. And really, really cool to play in, especially at Love's Field. Bradley, do you remember the first time that you consciously heard that chant? No, I don't. <laughs> Was it weird to you to start um, off? Not really. I think it was at World Series. I don't know though. <laughs> did someone have to tell you it was Boone, or did you think it was Boo? I thought actually? it was Boo at first, yeah. <laughs> but it does, I realized it does. like oh, that's my last yeah. name. <laughs> 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 yeah. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.